this is my college light switch application up and running um, and I've got the default screen which is here the one we first created which is obviously the the order in which it's created is going to be important and then what I've done is I've added some some other screens here and they've all just ended up under tasks now tasks is the kind of default menu item that's placed in when the application is first created what we need to do is to replace the menu bar with a kind of subdivision of, of screen types so that it's much easier to get to the ones you want. So that's what we're going to do next. We are inside the application designer and this is where you can start to create the things that we need to do for the menu system. You notice I've got, I've got properties highlighted. If we double click that, you get a whole range of properties that can be set for um, the application. Let's change its name because College LS won't affect what the underlying application is called, but it may be more meaningful to the user. So let's talk about screen navigation here. Okay, so here's what's happened. We've got a tasks menu. Now, roles are not going to be working working for us yet uh, because the, we, we may or may not set up authentication and identification. But what we can do is we can play with those screens that we've got to, to, to make. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename that one and I'm going to, to rename that as search. So that's good. So we've got that now. So I'm going to add another group and I'm going to call it new data. I'm going to add another group and I'm going to call it edit data. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is in my edit data, I'm going to put all of these three screens here, the editable data screens. And I'm going to call it edit cohorts. The underlying object itself is not is not um, going to be important because we're just dealing with it at the interface level. So edit courses. And I think probably what we've got here is got kind of the wrong order. I think I want to pull that one down to there and I use that. I want that one there to go below courses. So if I do that more closely represents how the application is constructed. Now in order to do those, I don't need them there anymore, so I'll just delete them from there. The object itself, as I've said, is not going to be important because we're not deleting the object. And the link is still there. And I'll carry on and make up the others, and then I'll show you what the effect is overall. I've now created all the changes I wanted to make. So in my search, I can search by course level, by tutor type, and by age group. In my new data, new tutor type, and cohort lessons. And then in my edits, there's my editing screens that I've got there. I just set those. Now we want to create what's called a default screen. And I think the one that we started with to do the search, this one, search by course level, where we go from level three to the courses, then to the cohorts, then to the students, is probably the right one to have as my default screen. So if I set that now, that's the one that will launch when we start the application. So that's what we'll do next. I've launched the light switch application. And the first thing to notice is that the title in the header is going to be much more meaningful to the user, I think, college lessons. And my new menu structure is there. I've got my search, my new data, and my edit data. If I choose search, these are the three things I said. New data and edit data. Let's just check that that one works. We'll edit a course just to see what we get. And if I wanted to edit one of these courses, um, I might do that one, I'll just do the top one. There's a little pen, so I click that and the editing window will open up and I just click OK to confirm. And that's what you do. Save the records and everything is done. And that's how you create the navigation system within Lightswitch and it's really easy to do.